By making meetings short, sharp, and KPI focused, you're not just saving time, you're creating a culture of efficiency and accountability. Oh yes, meetings. You can't live with them and you can't live without them, right? You ever had a meeting that completely energized you, fired up your team? Like when you walk out, every single person was feeling 10 feet tall, ready to take on the world. Why can't every meeting be like that? You know, uh, it would be awesome, right? But of course, we know most of them aren't. Most meetings are, are you know, beatings. <laughs> it would probably be a better term for it. But what if I told you there's a secret sauce to making meetings not just bearable, but actually powerful and productive? So picture this. You walk into a meeting and everyone's on point. Discussions are sharp. Decisions are made. And you're out before your coffee gets cold. Sounds like a pretty good dream, right? Well, not quite. It's all about wielding the mighty power of scorecards and focus KPIs. Think about Atlassian. They're not just about creating collaboration tools. I know a lot of you guys use them. We do as well. But they have mastered the art of using those collaboration tools by honing in on specific underperforming areas, ensure that meetings are targeted, discussions are relevant, and solutions are actionable. So it's like having a GPS for your development meeting. No more wandering off on a wild tangents. Sound good? How do we take that and do that throughout the rest of the business? We want to replicate that process. Number one is to prep your scorecard. Before the meeting even starts, have a clear scorecard ready. And this isn't just any scorecard. It's a laser-focused snapshot of where you stand on key metrics. You know, every department probably has their own, or they should. For sales and marketing, it might be something like uh, MQL, marketing qualified leads, or sales qualified leads, or deals done, or pipeline turn. Uh, for client success, it may be NPS or churn product. It could be you know, the number of days or application is used you know, daily or monthly. For engineering, maybe it's sprint time or developing features or keeping things on track. You know, how many days, how many times has something slipped? or being pushed back in a project, something like that. But the key is that everyone has a number and clarity on what that number is, why it matters, and what levers to pull to change it. Before the meeting, highlight the areas that need attention so everyone comes in knowing what's on the discussion block. I mean, we're, we're out here to, to make some progress. Number two is we want to keep the discussion KPI-centric. Structure the meeting agenda around those key performance indicators, and that keeps the conversation anchored to what truly matters and it doesn't get too far off track. It's like you know, keeping your eyes on the prize. In this case, the prize is actionable insights and clear next steps. And then you know, when the meeting's over, we can chit chat and do whatever else we want to, if we want to. And the third is we want to brainstorm with purpose. And now here is where the magic happens. You know, this isn't a time to gloat over good numbers or beat up bad ones. This is collaboration time. So use the meeting to brainstorm specific targeted ideas to close the gap in those underperforming areas. So for example, if something is at a 10, it should be to 15, focus on what would add five points. That's it. Encourage out of the box thinking, but ensure that every idea ties back to improving that specific issue. So, you know, what are 20 ways to get five points this week? And when you make it that laser focus and work on that differential, we're not trying to get 15, just what do we need to do to get that five? By making meetings short, sharp, and KPI focused, you're not just saving time, you're creating a culture of efficiency and accountability. So let's bid adieu to meandering meetings and embrace the era of focused, productive powwows that drive your SaaS business forward. So here's to meetings that leave you feeling energized and inspired. You ready to tackle the challenges head on? So how do you make meetings productive or do you dread that word meetings? Let me know in the comments.